All right, well, <laughs> the pigeon was on my nose again. Let's turn this in. So apparently when I get to 500 moons, we unlock a whole bunch of new stuff in the shops. Oh, jeez. I really wish the balloon was multicolored. I don't like the fact that it's white. Maybe it becomes multicolored once it's fully filled in. I'm not even at 200 moons yet, and we gotta get it up to 500 to actually buy... Th uh. Alright, whatever. Uh-oh. We've hit a proverbial fork in the road. Which kingdom do you want? think Bowser went to? Snow Kingdom or Seaside Kingdom? Let's go Seaside Kingdom. Looks pretty. The Seaside Kingdom. A splendid idea. Well, might as well keep going. At least for a little while. I'm just typing, seeing as we're in cutscene land anyway. Sorry. Okay, what an amazing energetic festival. Let's keep that energy going as we keep up the chase. Seeing as how we've got... Uh, this is a, uh, wall jump. <laughs> wall jump, of all things. Let's read up on the Seaside Kingdom. There's a carbonated sea that's supposed to be quite nice. And it says here that, uh, to be sure, we visit the four giant fountains. I really wish they'd actually put a background on this text. It's so hard to read. Or, like, move it up or so. Ah, whatever. Anyway. So the four giant fountains. Am I using the Pro Controller or the Joy-Cons? I'm using the Pro Controller. I picked it up for, uh, for Has-Been Heroes. Okay, that's a big something or other back there. Octorok. No, no, Octorok is a uh, Zelda thing. Eh, you know what? Whatever. Uh, but yeah, I, I've been using the, I've been using the Pro Controller, and I really like it. Oh, okay, that is a goofy looking dude. What's on top of that fancy goblet? Oh, jeez, really weird snail people. Blubane used to be a beautiful resort until that foul creature showed up. Just look at him guzzling all our treasured sparkle water. Won't you help us put a stop to him? Birds! Oh. Okay. Well, let's just wander around until we find. Uh, we found a thing. All right. Didn't succeed. Now it succeeded. Put it. Nothing. Huh. Okay. It's a little bit higher. Wait, what if I what if I go in here where it's a little bit tighter? No, I don't know. There might be a second entrance to that, or I'm just doing it all wrong. I'm not sure. Oh. Keep. I'm not sure what that means. No. about the same height. It look right. Yeah, well, there's something over there. I don't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to get in there. Maybe I am supposed to jump it or something. I don't know. Whatever. We got a rocket here. We'll just use this. Okay. 
Is the water death? No, the water is not death. Oh, this is cool. Kind of using the, uh, the mine machines to reveal where the fog is. And then it comes back on you. I like that. I also really like the sound effect as Mario runs on this stuff. It looks... Oh. I don't know. This is cool. Ow. Why did I do that? Why do I do this to myself? Okay, now we're still looking for a bonus moon somewhere. I mean, honestly, it looks like the bonus moon's over to the left. There's definitely something over there. I just... I don't see an easy way of getting over there. Oh, I do. I do actually see a way of getting over here. Okay. Just kind of take it slow. Don't die. Okay. There's a... Oh, no, you can... Ah! Treasure chest. Okay, got it. I was like, I know I know. there's there's something. There's something in here. Just gotta get to it. What is this place? This is one of those, like, you know, Mario bonus areas. Where they're kind of, like, out in the middle of nowhere. And very confusing. Oh! Well, that's fine. We already got we already got one moon. Unfortunately, I think this means we lose yeah, we lose our What but oh <laughs> Oh, that's funny. So apparently because I'm on um Because I set my outfit to random, it remains random. Oh, that's awesome. So we are going to be pure RNG outfit wise. I like that. I like that a lot. More or less means I can, uh... I don't have to think about outfitting myself for a while. Oops. Huh. Ow. It's like a weird shadow down into the... Uh, down in the pit. Oops. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, RNG mode is great. <laughs> the Sombrero Explorer. The Texm Explorer? Does that work? Probably not. I was just thinking, what other kind of weird combos can I roll with? Money over there. Okay, we need seeds. What the? Oh. Wait. Really? <laughs> this is the store. Sure, why not? Okay, so he sells <gasps> pirate outfit. Yes. We also get a moon. The easiest shopping and bubbling. Okay, so yeah, let's. Let's buy the pirate hat. I don't want to put it on yet, though. Ooh. There's another outfit. No. I will I will be pa patient. I must be. So that's one store. Where's the other one? Alternatively. Oh, is this where I Oh yeah, we we need we need some kind of transformation to get access to any of these things. Another heart. I guess we did go go below uh, 2,000 coins there, but... Oh, that's okay. All right, so we got a cheap cheap, which can't do anything... Well, I can totally do stuff with a cheap cheap. It's just not kind of an immediate thing. We're looking for, like, an octopus. Really. Oh, they're shells. Oh, that's really pretty. I love, I love seashells. 
don't really collect them that much, just because I don't know what to do with them. They're very pretty to look at. Yeah, there's a type of jet fish you can grab. Yeah, I figured. You know, I'd really like to see, like, a Metroidvania Mario-type game where you... I mean, I guess that's kind of what Zelda's like, where you're actually unlocking powers, too. Maybe, like, an uh, easier way to explain it would be, like, a Metroidvania um, collect-a-thon than Mario games specifically. Because Zelda is kind of the closest equivalent of a, a 3D Metroidvania, but... I don't know if that really counts. It does, it doesn't. I'm just gonna grab shortcuts and like, easy looking things right now. Oh, my neck's been killing me all week. This is part of the reason why I don't want to do, um... Part of the reason why... Me. Yeah, it's part of the reason why I don't want to do Hollow Knight is because, uh... Because I know I'd be really bad at it. It's it's too stressful. Um, it would strain me unduly. Easier for me to just keep it nice and relaxed with uh, with Mario Odi Odyssey instead. This game, I mean, this game is good shit. <laughs> Help me! I don't wait. Go away! <laughs> oh, that's magic. Oh, it does drown after a while. Huh. Fair enough. So supposedly I'm supposed to get up there. I guess it makes sense. There's the other one. No idea cheap cheeps could attack. Yeah, I didn't either until somebody was like, by the way, they can attack. And I'm like, what? There we go, there's another one. Alright, so what do what do we get? Ah, so we can look nice and uh nice and tropic. I don't think I care much for the uh sailor uniform. Though I uh as a kid, uh, that sailor uniform on the right actually always like I'm gonna say it always worried me, it bothered me. Um, my grandmother, well, not my grandmother, my grandfather was a sailor in the, in the Navy during World War II. Um, and obviously at this point he's passed, but... Oh, I can, I can run along the surface of the water. I wonder if there's something to do with that. Okay, um, but yeah, so my grandfather was, was in the Navy, uh, as an electrician. But he wore one of those outfits, uh, frequently. And I don't think I liked my grandfather that much. He was, he never really cared to learn much about me in any way, shape, or form. So usually whenever I'd just interact with him, um, my only interactions were him making fun of me for what I liked to do as a kid. Uh, and so specifically he thought Legos were kind of stupid and so, through my limited interactions with him, all I knew is that he was... He didn't like me, and he wore that outfit, because uh, we went to one of his, like, um, the soldier reunion things. And he was wearing it, and I think he and his friends were all wearing it, and there was just something really creepy about it. So, soldier outfit... not soldier, sailor outfits have always been just like... Eh, to me. I've never quite moved past it. The tunnel down there is quite long. Only a fish could make it all the way. To climb the lighthouse, you must first dive down this underwater tunnel. Okay, so there... yeah. Well... Do we do the crazy pants thing? But yeah, uh, specifically, one of the things I remember uh, is my... Uh-oh. 
Oh, I, I made it. Okay, one of the things I specifically remember is my, uh... My cousin stole one of my Lego sets. Uh, I guess I didn't have to get a fish for this. Um, but my cousin stole one of my Lego sets, broke it apart, because you don't really break Legos that easily, and then hid the pieces all over my, um... All over my, uh... My grandparents' house. Uh, uh, uh. Though, actually, these ev eels are concerning, but they remind me of the eels from uh, from Kirby. Uh, one of the most recent Kirby games actually let you suck up a whole eel, which had a very special animation. Okay, but yeah, so one of my cousins, uh, uh, my two cousins, took my Legos and you know scattered them all over my grandparents' house, and me being like, I think I was like eight or ten or something like that. I was pretty upset about it because, you know, they broke my shit. And I only ever visited Minnesota once a year. So if I didn't get those pieces back, I was never going to get them back. And um, and so I was trying to get, you know, my grandmother to help. But she was kind of useless because she never really cared, cared about it. I, I don't know if she didn't process it or what, but she just didn't seem interested. My grandfather just outright made fun of me for... Uh, for letting them take my toy. My cousins were like twice my age at the time, and I was like, I am eight, they are 16 and 17 respectively. What am I supposed to do, fight them? Um, but so, uh, so eventually, uh, they, I think they did like a deep clean in the house and sent me the entire uh, Lego set being like, hey, we finally got all your stuff, aren't you so happy? And I was like 15 at the time and I'm like, Nope, this actually just kind of makes me mad that it took you this long. But, oh. <laughs> Owie, try all you want. I'll never surrender the delicious sparkle water. Oh, he's mad now. Three fountains left. Let's hop to it. Okay. I didn't really process any of this. So apparently there was a uh, there was some purple coins somewhere. I'll try and I'll try and find those purple coins cuz I don't Oh yeah, there they are. Yeah, but kind of specifically because of that event and a couple other ones, I never really had like much of a close relationship with my cousins. Uh, so now when I go see them uh, for like family get-togethers, I'm kind of just like, uh, you know, I should probably get this. Okay, did I did I already get the... Did I already get, get the coins or did I miss them? Okay, there's the other cheap, cheap, cheap. Um, but I, I've never actually had much of a relationship with my cousins as a result. Uh, and so now I will see them in like, they have kids and uh, wives and stuff, and you know they're all trying to get like chatty, chatty, and I'm like, I don't even know you. I I never knew you. This is a weird thing, like to have a family member that you specifically have like never had a relationship with in any kind of way. I, oh, there's some more. Actually, there's a full freaking power moon in here. I actually have that problem with a lot of my relatives that, you know, I've never, I, so, I was born in Minnesota, and we moved away when I was four. Um, which effectively means I never really got to know m many of my cousins beyond just, like, kind of basic interactions. Could have jumped off the tower. Coulda. Let's see if, uh, jumping off the tower does anything. No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like backtracking was the uh, was the way to go because there was there was some stuff I missed. Um, doo -doo -doo. okay. Oh, we've got a pipe over there. Actually, a whole mess of pipes over there. I'll take a look at it. But yeah, so like I barely get to. Uh, I barely got to know, like, any of my cousins or, uh, any of my cousins or really just any of my relatives. Uh, and so, like, now I'll go, like, see them and I'm just like, 
All I remember is you're that absentee aunt from, like, uh, when I was a kid. And nothing more. Um, which, I mean, really isn't that big of a deal. Except for... Because I'm such a, like, you know, a, a tech-type person, you know, I, I love technology, video games, and whatnot, my interests are, like, so far off of, like, what the rest of my relatives really get into. Because, uh, you know, they're very much into, like, softball and sports and hunting, and I'm just like, I play video games for fun! They're like, huh. Ow. I'll just let that happen. This is really awkward. I don't mind it, but... Oof. Okay, so I actually missed out on a power moon this way. Maybe two. Um... I think I'm going to have to go back. There's also this here. No, nope, nothing on that. Okay. But yeah, I don't know. It's just... It's weird. I I wouldn't say I'm bad at small small talk, but I've always... I've always been mostly talkative about the things that I've... That I'm really interested in. Oh, interesting. So that progress lasted. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, to be fair, I also play video games for work. It's very true. Um, but, oh, oh, new pipe. Uh, I do play video games for work, which definitely does make it a little bit harder, hard to, like, find common ground for most people. If you've never heard of Twitch before, the, uh, Twitch or YouTube, uh, or, I mean, I guess everybody's heard of YouTube. Yeah, everybody's heard of YouTube, but the idea of doing it professionally is probably crazy pants for some people. Okay, I think we could just leave. We've probably got it all. Nice part is... Nice part is, uh, I can actually double check to see if I've gotten everything. Oh, no, I can't. I can't check. Well, I already got the purple moon from it, so I'm going to operate under the assumption that I'm okay. All right, uh, let's see. So what do we do now? What the heck? Oh, 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 hi. I found the requisite... I found the requisite thing. Okay, so it has a limited, uh, it has a limited water count. This is cool, though. I, I really like these jet, jet octopi. Probably my favorite transformation so far. Maybe with the exception of the seeds, I don't know. Oh, well, I killed it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, the red shell did break a, um... A hole that I can go in. You're correct about that. You know what? It's probably faster that I just go get one of the, um... Jet, jet to pusses. Kind of wish I could actually just save one of these transformations. Okay, so they, they can only go so far. So where did, where did it, uh, go? Oh, shit. Those are, like, right there. Okay, let's take a look at this. So I'm here. Uh, oh, we've got some purple coins there. How the... Oh, oh, oh. I get ya. I see... I see how this works. Balls. Okay. I kind of... No! Shit. 
I kind of know how to do some of these things. There we go. There's another one. Yeah, run and slide. Yeah, I only know how to play regular 2D Mario purely because of uh, Game Grumps playing Mario Maker. That's, like, actually my only exposure to, um... That's actually my only exposure to, uh, to how to play Mario, like, normally. And even the, then, the controls are slightly different. Which messes with me. Okay. Nope. Gotta run and slide. There we go. Yeah, because we've got these right here. <gasps> Shit. It does also mean that my, my ability to control it is going to be particularly bad compared to somebody that actually has experience with uh, 2D Mario. Especially because of tired tiredness and sickness. Oh, right. I should probably wait until this thing comes back. There we go. There we go. Got him. Yay, now we can leave. Cause I don't think I don't think there's anything left. I wish it would actually show me um that whole area. But that's fine. Okay, so let's let's go get us a water squ squid and keep doing some um Let's get us a water squid and uh let's start doing some um puzzle solving. What? I was wondering about that. I was like, why is it letting me get through here? There's the answer. So this one's way easier to get. Oh, can I fight the octopus as an octopus? That would be so nice. I hope so. It's actually a really small area. But like, now that I'm looking at it, it's tiny. It's effectively just like one swimmable area and not much more. Excellent work! Just two fountains to go. Well, I... sure, why not? What else do we have here? I think that's actually something that's really sh shocked me. Surprised me about this game. Is that... Just how, um... Just how... Small... Each zone is. Like... I'm trying to think of a good example. I, I don't actually know which is larger, but it always felt like, uh, the... It, it really feels like the, um... Oh! Being, being on this flag actually actually recharges my water. Cool. Um, how do I put this? Super Mario Sunshine, the levels felt larger to me. I don't... I cannot tell you if that's actually true. That's just how it feels. There's the power moon. There's just one here. And like these levels might actually be just about as large, but they certainly don't feel like it to me. Uh and it's not actually that big of a deal. It's just it's just kind of weird. Uh because I'm expecting these like big expansive crazy levels and most of the time it's actually just kind of tight and self-contained. Not to say that the level design's bad, it's just... Um... I guess... An easy example would be, I don't remember... I don't know how many of you guys remember or have played Super Mario Sunshine at this point. Um, but there was a... I mean, the first major level you go to with the Piranha Plant, with the Piranha Pete, right there in the, um... Uh, there, there's like a, a Piranha Pete right there in the, um, uh, 
right there in like a windmill or something, and it was it was causing uh, it was causing stuff to go all over the place. Oh, there's eels. Okay. Doesn't look like this one's timed though, which is actually kind of a, a nice deal. Okay, but so there's the piranha pea, uh, and you have to deal with them obviously. So there's kind of a long run up to it. Now there's other stuff you can do in the meantime, but it felt like here's this like big central kind of level goal, um, to reach this thing, and then side content. It was kind of like 50% side content collectibles and 50% actual level and progression. And this, on the other hand, very rarely feels like the uh, the build up to the boss fight is really much of anything. Oh, oh, there's there's the last one. Let's get a let's get a bubble and go from there. And it's not none of this is bad. It's just kind of weird because I'm so used to Mario levels, from my perspective, having kind of this this like visual run up. Um, and it's weird to play a Mario game that, for the most part, you know, like, yeah, you can see where the boss is, but getting there doesn't feel any more special than just running around the whole level the other way. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go... I'm just gonna go back here. We should probably go get some more, um... I should probably go get my hands on some more uh, octopus nonsense. Did I get this treasure? I must have gotten this treasure chest open. Oh, helpful. So that's just gonna be, oh, oh yeah. That's just gonna be there all the time. Nope, there we go. Okay. So we're looking for <laughs> that kind of looks incredible. So if you run out of water, great things happen. Actually really hard killing these guys. That's a lot of lava. Damn it. That's okay. We'll be fine. Like I said. I... Did this... Oh, it's... It's below me. Is there an... Easy way. Nope. Well... This looks hilarious. Oh, there's a, uh... Oh, wait, no. This is all water. So this is actually way easier. All I have to do is spin. So there was just there was just lava sitting on top of on top of water, and that's huh. I have a question. That this makes no sense. It should be. I mean, I, I'd be fine if it was like volcanic rock. Actually, question. Can I just... No, okay, so I can't just splat on this stuff. I was hoping I could just uh, drop down and splat on it. Go from there. Because, uh... You know, it should be... It should be... It should be rock. I... Logic! Has no place here, apparently. Oh, does my, does my water jet collect purple coins? So it does. Well, that's handy. Okay, well, it's pretty much the extent of this. Yeah, let's just, let's just forsake this squid for at least a little bit. That's Nintendo logic for you. See, I could understand it in, uh, Sunshine because it was, like, weird pink goop on the top. Like, oil or whatever. I guess lava ink. You could kind of maybe sell me on that. Kind of maybe. Maybe.